Welcome to Melanated Magic TV, and I'm your host, Jessica X. Ladies and gentlemen, I get so tired of people saying that the black race is the most violent race. We are not. And if you believe that bullshit, that we are the most violent race, just look at statistics. Who kids shoot up shit? Who shoot up stuff when they not getting sex? What race does that? It is not the black race. It is the Caucasian race. Ladies and gentlemen, I am coming to you with a story straight out of the New York Post. Georgia teens made a kill list for school shooting plot authorities. Two Georgia teens were so hell bent on setting a record for mass murder, they compiled a kill list singling out their school's black and disabled students, according to prosecutors. Alfred Dupree, 19, and Victoria McCurley, 18, pled guilty on Friday to six counts of attempted murder and other charges connected to the plot on Etowa High School in Woodstock, Georgia, according to reports. Prosecutors said that said the pair planned to smoke bomb to curtail, corral, to corral students and teachers into a confined area where they would use napalm and firearms to kill as many people as they could, according to the Cherokee Tribune and Ledger News. We'd like to get our numbers up higher than Las Vegas, McCurley admitted, telling investigators referring to the October 1st, 2017 concert shooting where Stephen Paddock killed 58 people and injured hundreds more, according to court records. The pair who created a map of the school showing CCTV cameras had weapons and explosives in McCurley's home when they were arrested in 2000, October 2017, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Dupree, who the court heard was assessed with Columbine and other mass shootings, was found with the kill list that listed black and special education students and their teachers, according to the reports. It was in a journal that also had racial slurs, swastikas, according to the Cherokee Tribune and Ledger News. So they were some little racist. The pair both pled guilty to six counts of conspiracy to commit murder, one count of conspiracy to commit arson, and one count of unlawful possession of a destructive device according to the court documents the sentencing hearing is due to continue on monday so let me go back a little bit so one of them is a female and one of them is, one of them is a male i'm not quite sure which is which but as you see they wanted to compile a kill list a kill list and they were only aiming for black kids and disabled kids and i am guessing that the disabled kids that they were getting were aiming for i mean they could have been white but i'm pretty sure they probably was black but then again they could have been white because i'm i heard that you know if they have a child that's disabled you know um the white supremacists look at those as a defect. But these little monsters, like, I, I got a question. Where were they parents? Where are they parents? Why aren't the parents being charged too? Because there's no way the parents didn't know that 
they were planning to shoot up the school. Really think about this. I am a parent. I go through everything. I'm like the FBI, CIA, NSA. I'm everything. I go through everything. Whenever she gets a whatever, I go through. It's no privacy in my house. I am the big brother in my house. I'm the parent. I make sure I know what my kids are doing at all times. So my question is, where where were they parents? So they were able to make napalm and smoke bombs and have firearms. Were the parents in on this sick, twisted plot? Really think about this. These two are 18 and 19 years old. So how were they able to acquire firearms in Georgia being that age? The legal age, unless it's, I mean, the legal age here in Georgia to have a firearm, to get a firearm is 21. So who helped them do all of this? They didn't just do this alone, in my opinion. Just really think about this. Well, folks, that is all I have for today. I am your host, Jessica.